teachers, we're going to be looking at how you can get your students into Microsoft 365. They're going to be using an account that's very similar to their student email address, but you'll find that their login and their student email is not exactly the same thing. But not, not to worry, we'll help you out, make sure we can get it all straightened out for you. We're going to be looking at first how you get those addresses, how you find out what those addresses and accounts are, and then we'll show you where students will need to go to actually log in. First, you're going to log into Teams. So you're going to go to your regular Teams account, and then go ahead and sign in to Teams. Across the top, next to the little house, there's this button with these dots and lines. This is the Reports Profile button. So when you click on the Reports Profile button, you're going to be looking at these different menus. You're going to go to the EPISD menu. And within the EPISD menu, you'll look for the Class EPISD menu. And you'll choose the report called Class Teacher Roster with Email CLS300-B. That's going to be the report you're going to need to generate the student email addresses. To generate the report, you do have to fill out this short little uh, form here. You have to select the correct calendar ID. Since this campus is on an AB schedule, I'll put AB. The effective date will be today's date because I want my current students. And then I give the profile name uh, for the report, which can be anything you want it to be. So in this case, I'm going to call it Class Roster with Student Email. And then I will click on Request Report. You can choose either an Adobe Acrobat report or a Microsoft Excel report. I'm going to choose an Excel report. You then click on OK. As soon as you've done that, it will submit the report to the report queue. In order to get the report, you have to then switch to the report queue here at the top and look for the report here in the list. You'll find it may take a little bit of time for the report to be generated, but as soon as it says complete, you'll be able to click on it and open up the report. My report is now complete, so I'll go ahead and open it up. Your report will look something very much like this. I've removed the student IDs and uh, usernames, but other than that, you'll see a report that looks very much like this one. The very last column on this report will provide you with the student email addresses, and these student email addresses are very easy to convert into their shorter EPISD login account information. So I'll show you exactly how that gets converted. So what we have is a student email address that has their first name, last name, and then some random combination of characters at episdorg.onmicrosoft.com. That is their email address. Their username is going to drop the onmicrosoft.com. We won't have that part. And the episd.org, we're going to put a dot between the episd and the org. So this will become first name, last, random number combination at episd.org. Now, it may not be their full last name. It's usually just the first four or five characters of their last name. But that is going to be the format in which that takes. Students will then need to go to the website, portal.office.com. That's portal.office.com. That's the website that they're going to use to log into their Office 365 accounts. They will put in their username, which is the one that ends in at episd.org. That's the one they're going to put in to use as their username to log in. Again, that is not their email address. All right, once they've done that, they put in their password. Their password is their eight-digit birthday, four digits for the year, two digits for the month, and two digits for the day. So it's their eight-digit birthday. They would then click on Sign In. Once they click on Sign In, they will have a lot of different options available to them uh, that they will see. So once they sign in, they'll see all kinds of different options here, including Word, Excel, PowerPoint. And the most important that they're going to need to click on first is OneDrive, which is their online storage location. Thank you. That's how they'll get into their Microsoft uh, 365 accounts. Thanks for powering up with EPISD's PowerUp.